Desire Coach Larissa Wilson here, traveling in lots and lots of traffic once again. <laughs> Dallas is notorious for traffic. Anyway, I wanted to reach out to you today with a little bit of road wisdom. Um, road wisdom, for those of you who don't know, let me um, educate you on what that is. For me, having time alone in the car, I've always either lived uh, in the suburbs or somewhere far away from where I worked for, mo for the most part. Um, so I always have this time to kind of reflect on life, um, think about things that I want to do, plan dreams, um, you know, a lot of the visions and stuff I have for, I've had for like the bakery or my desire coaching or things of that nature have come to me while driving, uh, the, the, the plans on how to do particular things or whatever. <clears throat> for me, I always tell my kids, even when my older kids were little, time in the car was always quiet because it was a time for me to reflect. It was one of the few times that, I, and it still is one of the few times that I have to myself. So during that time, you know, I just kind of listen to whatever bubbles up in me. And one day I decided to record a video and um, I said, you know what? This is road wisdom. I, I, I get it on the path on the road that I'm traveling, <laughs> literally. And I just wanted to share it with people. I thought it was neat. So anyway, today I wanted to talk to you about perseverance. Like I posted on Facebook yesterday, um, during my prayer or meditation time yesterday the word perseverance bubbled up in me and I look back over my life because I'm I'm in the middle of transitioning to some some huge things that I've wanted to do for a while in my life and there are so many different options and so many different roads that I could go that sometimes I get stuck when I get in those places when I have a lot of choices or um, you know a lot of different options <clears throat> and they're all different that's the thing they're all I mean I could continue to work this wonderful day job that I have that is it's really an awesome company to work for I could blow the bakery out of the water I mean like just take over the scene here in the Dallas Fort Worth area and really around the country because I'm telling you my stuff is amazing and I'm not just to my own own horn but I have really 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 gotten good with this baking thing and um, <clears throat> creating gluten-free options that that I mean it, it's something when you see you know a 60 year old man whose wife has been baking gluten free forever and he absolutely hates it pop a piece of my bread or a piece of one of my cupcake samples into his mouth and just completely light up and say oh my god you know <laughs> there's nothing like that feeling um and so i could do that um anyway i have quite a few choices i could list on and on i could go into singing and and music writing and things of this nature and there's so many different options and there's so many different things that i'm good at that i'm really not sure what to choose in the past this is usually one of the times that i would break down and stop i would stop everything because i didn't know what to choose i would stop and what i i think um, the universe is trying to tell me right now is that <clears throat> I need to persevere. I need to push through and continue to create in all of those areas, in one of those areas, in some things, either one. Because what? here's what I find. First of all, I don't want to get burnt out. You know, and there's a lot. I'm busy. A lot. It doesn't leave a lot of room for my family. And it doesn't leave a lot of room for personal time for myself I mean I'm catching our uh, you know hours an like hour or so on the way to work and an hour or so back that's my me time okay so anyway I I can't you know do everything and I know that but giving up is not an option it's not an option at all and normally like I said that's what I would do I would freeze right here at this pivotal moment I would freeze but instead I've decided that I'm going to per persevere. 
Now, I kind of have an inkling what's going to happen um, because I really have a vision for the, bake the bakery to make it a musical, not only a place where you can come and get great gluten-free food, but where you can also hear great acoustic sets from local Dallas artists and maybe artists from around the country that'll come in and, um, and play for us. So that is the vision. And, and I can combine those two things to create something spectacular here. And so I kind of know that the job is not going to be, you know, it's, it's just there. So the thing is, I have to persevere regardless. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but I have to push through and you have to push through. We have to push through because what I find happens, and this has happened to me repeatedly in my life, but you know how it is when you're facing an issue and you're sometimes when you're very wise and you're very knowledgeable, the very thing that you tell others, you forget for yourself. Because for me, I just really like to help other people. <clears throat> and sometimes what that means is I neglect myself. So when... I come to that same stumbling block that I helped somebody with a year ago, I'm like, oh my God, what should I do? Where should I go? Who should I turn? And I have no one to turn to because everybody's used to turning to me for answers, you know? <laughs> which is so sad. Um, but I'm working on that. I'm building my tribe so that I have my own people, um, friends and family and beautiful people that can support what it is that I do. But anyway... <clears throat> It's hard sometimes for us to take our own advice, I guess is what it boils down to. And just to have another person there to tell us, hey, you know, this is what you should do. You may already know that, but just hearing it from someone else is, is awesome. Um, but <clears throat> what I was going to say is that we have to, you know, we just have to learn how to persevere through those things. And what happens... <clears throat> what I've learned from doing sessions with other people and helping them to grow their business or helping them to become the mother or the father or the person, the husband, uh, the wife that they want to be is that sometimes you just have to walk. You have to walk and you've got many, many options, but you can't stop walking. You can't stop pushing towards that goal that is there in front of you, right? And what will happen is the universe will remove all of those things that are not what you need in your life at that particular time. So I may go into this job today and they say, you know what? You're fired. <laughs> and it would be a wonderful thing because for me, it just, it tells me, it opens my options. It gives me lots of time to focus on the things that I want to do with the bakery um, and the things that I want to do with desire coaching. It really... It really gives me an, you know, it, that, that would be awesome, to be honest. Um, so what I'm saying is life has a way of giving you exactly what you need when you need it, especially when you're moving. When you're sitting stagnant, you're not creating the energy that the universe around you reads. Your environment reads your energy, right? It reads your energy and it says... Uh, today's going to be a great day for her because we're going to make this connection happen. Or it says, uh, mm, yeah, she hasn't gotten out of bed in two weeks. So dang, she missed like 25 opportunities to grow her business. You know what I mean? So you just have to keep moving. You have to keep moving and let life get in the flow, get in the flow. I, I did an earlier road wisdom video about stepping into the flow get into the flow of life and push through persevere when people say you can't do it anyway when you don't feel like doing it do it anyway I, it's amazing the things that we can accomplish if we just do it anyway I read stories and I've seen so many documentaries about people that I mean Helen Keller come on Helen Keller, boom, right? Example, <laughs> prime example, Martin Luther King. Um, oh gosh, there's so many people I could name. I don't even want to go down that rabbit trail. But the point is, persevere. You can persevere through anything that comes your way. 
you just have to keep moving you have to keep walking when the naysayers say you can't do it keep that flame in you that says I can even when you feel like you can't do it do it anyway it could be something as simple as needing to work out if you need to work out I need to work out and you know what I'm gonna do today I'm taking my arse to the gym and I'm gonna work out I mean my gym membership is $59 a year yeah, you heard me right. $59 a year, state-of-the-art gym, classes, daycare, the whole nine. I pay $59 a year. And we have a gym in our home. I have no excuse. And um, there's always the road outside. Put on some tennis shoes and run. <laughs> I have no excuses. So today I am going to work out. I am going to persevere through that workout. And I just wanted to take a little opportunity to share with you my thoughts on perseverance. Hopefully, this will reach you and impact an area of your life where you need to persevere and push through. All the best. Love you.